In this video, we are hunting a box of pennies. We'll be of course looking for any wheat cents, but we'll also be looking for any foreigns, proofs, airs or varieties, or any other cool things that we can find. We'll also be setting aside all the copper we find in this box, and based on the enters, it looks like there's a pretty good amount, so hopefully that's a good sign for the hunt. Let's start the hunt, and I'll bring you in when we have our first find. Well, we're only on roll number one, and I just opened the roll, and we're already going to have our first foreign. Looks like it's going to be a Canadian. And it is, and it is from 1978. Roll number eight, and it looks like this box is kind of a continuation from the last one because yet again we have a, we're getting a ton of BU 2009s. But I bring you in because we have our second Canadian scent of the box, and it is from 1975 in pretty decent shape. Roll number nine, and we are struggling with the wheat scents, but we're doing pretty good with the foreigns, so we have already have our third Canadian of the box. This one is a 1980. Roll number 13, and we still can't get a wheat scent, but we already have our fourth Canadian, and this one is a 1994. Roll number 16, and you guessed it, another Canadian. Let's see what this one is. 1965. Roll number 18, and we're finally going to get our first wheat scent. The start of the roll. Probably going to be from the 40s or 50s. Yep, a 1945 out of Philly. We got one. Roll number 23 is going to have a wheat scent and a Canadian. We'll pull out the Canadian first. Near the back of the roll. It's a 1980. And the wheat scent is in the middle. Hopefully it's older than 1940, but probably not. Oh, and it is a 1940 out of Philly. Wheat scent number two. Next roll, roll 24. And we're going to have the seventh Canadian already. Near the start of the roll. Looks like it's going to be from the 60s or 70s, and it's from 1977. Roll number 36, and it's been a while since we've had a find, but we do have another one, and it's going to be a Canadian scent. Another one from the 60s or 70s, and this one is from 1965. Next roll, roll number 37, and we're going to have yet another Canadian. And it is a... 1981. Same roll, and we have a miscellaneous find because we have a counter stamped penny. They sold these in sets with one of every state, and this one has the state of Iowa on it, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully, we can get some wheat cents though, we only still have two. Roll number 41, and we're gonna hit double digit Canadian pennies because we have number 10 in this roll. And this one is from 1966. Still on roll number 41, and we do have a minor mint error found, and it is a 1966 with a lamination error. You can see some of the surface is kind of peeling off. This happens when something like air gets trapped under the surface, and it escapes, and then layers of the penny kind of flake off like this. These errors are really common. I found a few before, so they're not really worth too much, but still a cool find. Roll 43, and we're going to have yet another Canadian scent. It's going to be Canadian set number 11, and this one's a 1988. Roll number 47, and we're going to have another Canadian scent. This one was one away from being an ender. It's Canadian set number 12, and it is a 1983. Hopefully we can get at least one more wheat set in the last three rolls. Roll 49, and we're going to have yet another Canadian scent. Getting a lot of Canadians, but not many wheats. Ooh, and this one is a young head, so which means it's 1964 or older. And it's a 1964. Penny box has been hunted. Let's go over the finds. Had about less, a little less than half a jar of copper, so that's pretty good. Um, we also had 13 estimates for 1959s, and again, a lot of 2009s. We had 88 in this box, and of those, 74 would be used. So this was definitely a sister box to that last penny box. We had 13 Canadians, ranging from 1964 through 1994. Two oddities I set aside were that 1966 with the lamination error and the 1974 with the Iowa counter stamp. And unfortunately, we did only get two wheat cents, a 1940 Philly and 1945 out of Philly. But besides the lack of wheat cents, this was a pretty good box.